One method of taking inventory in the COA system is to connect your barcode scanner to, to your teacher librarian laptop and take that laptop and scanner directly to the shelves and scan each barcode into a notepad file. So what you see in front of you is the results of us doing inventory via scanning. And what was scanned is the fiction collection, all of the uh, books that whose author's last name starts with A. So just the fi fiction A collection. Uh, and then that was saved as as a separate file. You can you can scan more books than just you know a particular section of your of your collection, but this was just done. Um, the fiction A collection was done just for this example. So it's a quick and easy way to do inventory because basically what will happen is you'll upload this file, this notepad file, into COA. And then COA will show you the titles that you missed. It will give you a printout of those titles that you didn't happen to scan, which means perhaps they, they're they lost, they've gone missing, or they've been they're located somewhere else in the library that you forgot about, or whatever the case may be. But it gives you a list of titles that, that you know um, weren't housed with the rest of the Fiction A collection. So once you're, you have the notepad file saved, then it's a matter of going to COA and importing that file and getting your um, list of, of, of disc the discrepancy list uh, coming up through COA. So we'll so here we are in the uh, COA admin uh, screen and the inventory stock taking is under tools. So I click on the tools button and then I click on inventory and stock taking. So the barcode file it's referring to is the notepad file that I just showed you. So I need to browse to where I have that saved and then I fiction a.txt that's the file that I that has all of the fiction books fiction a collection books scanned into it. So I choose that and I click open set date last seen to so that should always be today's date entered in there and then you can click the submit button now it says 132 items have been modified to the date last seen as being the 14th of June and it tells me there's one barcode it didn't find so that tells me that we there was a barcode that was scanned uh, into the notepad file that actually isn't part of the um, that isn't currently some in my in my COA records so that might mean I need to do a little investigation and figure out why that barcode um, isn't isn't in my COA records so I could I could mark that down or I could print this page off uh, just by going to file and print preview to see exactly what it's going to print off and then I can send it on to the printer to actually actually print. Uh, now this link view items to be deleted from inventory this is where you get your list of discrepancies. Okay but there's a few things we have to enter before we actually see the list so select the items you want to check this is the school so the items I scanned in were the fiction collection starting with all the um, just the uh, last author's last name of A. So I do fiction AAA to fiction AZZ so it's going to get everything in between. Not seen since, that should be today's date. Show items, this is just how many items it's going to show per page. And then the beginning at offset, this should be let, left uh, at zero. I click submit and up comes my list of items. COA is saying these items should be deleted because it's assuming that they're lost or missing and therefore no longer part of your collection. But of course we know that books can turn up um, you know after the fact so you may not want to delete these records right away. You may want to give it some time to perhaps the books will turn up and then they you can check off that they um, that they did guess in fact returned or they did turn up. So I scroll down. So these are all of the books that um, 
are in the Fiction A collection that I didn't scan as part of my notebook file. So they weren't on the shelf or I couldn't find them at the time to actually scan them in. Be careful of these buttons down here because these will actually delete the records right out of your COA system. So if you're not quite ready to do that, if you want to give these books a chance to show up, then you want to make sure that you don't um, don't push any of those buttons down there. But this list, once again, can be printed off under File. If you go to Print Preview first, you'll see that it's at how many pages, it's two pages of books, how it's going to print off, and then you can send it on to the printer so that you have uh, a list of books that um, you need to keep an eye out for.